You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Arrow After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Arrow After Show. That's right. Hey there, Team Arrow fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV. We know you're locked in and loaded, ready to break down Arrow Season 2, Episode 13, titled Heir to the Demon. I'm your hostess with the Moses, Ali Kona Bradford, and I'm joined today by our newbie. Hi, everyone. I'm Yell Teagle. And... Hi, how you guys doing? My name's Michael Durgin, but you can call me Mowgli. And if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter at at mmowgli, M-O-W-G-A-L-I, or you can go on Facebook and find me there, slash mmowgli. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, thank you for that news briefing that we have. So if you guys notice, Kelly is not here today, but hopefully we will have her next week. However, have no fear. We have tons of juicy stuff to talk about, tons of news and gossip. So this episode is going to be amazing. Let's get it started. Yeah. Awesome. So we start off Arrow, and there's a big fight scene. We see our first glimpse of Nysa, who, by the way, is gorgeous, and she oh, can kick butt. That was an amazing, amazing fight scene. Oh, absolutely. In she took airport. everyone down. Oh, and then she just, I got to go. Here's my luggage. I'm walking off. Let me toss on my hair real yeah. quick. It was a really Thank awesome you. fight Bye. scene. Yeah. There was, it, honestly, I felt like security was kind of light, but it was yeah. a lot better than the breakout, of the, the jail breakout yeah. last, last episode. So I was really excited. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. Well, you can tell right away, though, she's been trained by the League of Assassins because just like when the Dark Archer was in Arrow, he came in and he was a huge challenge for everybody else because they're trained so well. Right, yeah. yeah. Katrina Law did an excellent job for her first episode being on the show. It's been a lot of build up for this. I was really excited to see her, and I thought she did a really excellent job. I really enjoyed it. That was an awesome fight scene to start the episode. Shakespeare right. always says you need to start it with something serious. That was a great way to start the episode. <laughs> These writers know what they're doing. There's a reason they're on the CW Absolutely. Network. Yeah. Absolutely. And then also we come back to Laurel, who we left off last episode, who'd hit her head and fell. We all assume that she OD'd, because at this point we think she's a little cray. Yeah. Right. But she's not this time. Right. No? Exactly. That's awesome. And I, I will say this. I did not pick up when Oliver was looking at her and there was the flicker of green in her eye. I knew it was significant, but I wasn't sure what was going right. on exactly. Yeah. yeah. Huge. And you know what? Uh, one thing it made me realize is remember in the last episode when they were in the restaurant, you saw that guy's face really quick and then he disappeared. Yeah. It was yeah like the a really quick. Guy. The creeper guy. Mm -hmm. Now we know what the creeper guy's essence was. He was the one that poisoned her, right. which none of us got to see. That's no. why they showed him. No. I totally missed that. Yeah, yeah. There was the a creeper guy. Right like, now. there was, like, a guy. They did a quick, like, cut, and uh -huh. then they just cut away. He didn't talk or anything. It was super quick. He was sitting at the uh -huh. bar when they escorted Laura out. Right. told her she was too drunk. Uh -huh. Oh. He was cool. in the bar. Spiked her yeah. drink. Okay. I said restaurant. Well, I don't know whatever. Yeah. Clearly, he spiked more than her drink. So, <laughs> But yeah. we get to see the return of her mother, which I know a lot of people are huge fans. I'm saying. so excited. Alex Kingston. Yeah. So it was nice to see her back and see the family all together. Yeah. And I think it was only a matter of time before Laurel finds, you know, she yeah. found everything out. Right. That makes sense. But um, what did you guys think of how, how, oh gosh, I was going to call her Katie because her, her real name is Katie. But That's I okay. Was <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> um, how did you think of her coming in and finally revealing the fact that she was alive? I mean, I know I'm jumping ahead a little bit in the episode. Well, yeah, yeah, try it to the end. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, it's just it's a big deal to me. Yeah, no, Sarah Lance, I definitely thought it was great. I thought it was, I didn't think it was going to work out like that. I thought Nessa was going to get it or come back. And uh, the idea that she let her stay shows how strong that the love was between the two of them. Let's uh, look what you've done to me. I'm sorry. What, Guys, I, seriously, let's talk you? about it. Two amazingly hot chicks were making out in an episode of Arrow. <laughs> yes. Thank you. For he couldn't let that one go, by the way, ladies, awesome. when we watched well, the episode. He didn't need to let that one go. That no. was amazing. That was a hot kiss. It was, it was beautiful. Very unexpected, to oh, be yeah, honest yeah. with you. Like, that holding one a knife. threw me for a loop yeah. hardcore because I seriously thought she was either going to slit her throat or Take I thought... That, Russia. Or, or I thought... <laughs> <laughs> with an English accent, <laughs> P.S., by the way. But anyway... Um, 
But I thought, because we saw the green arrow in the background, that surely he was going to come save the day. I'm sure he, at that point, wanted to just drop his bow and arrow and be like, what? <laughs> Who says these women need any man to save the day for them? Okay. Get out of here. Thank <laughs> you. Nice. But these women on the show, just in general, are kick butt. Like, I put that down in my notes. It's amazing. And I love seeing a woman that can fight her own battle. Yeah, it was really oh, exciting and really beautiful to see. Amen to 2014. Yeah, it was nice to have Black Canary back. I was really excited. It was. Yeah. It was. It was. You know what's funny is they finally, and I know she's done it in past episodes when she first entered onto the scene, but when she was with the Green Arrow on the motorcycle and they were chasing mm -hmm. after. That was a weak scene. Well, not that it was a weak scene, but we saw her use her little sound machine mm -hmm. that was right. the canary high pitch yeah. bird sound. Right, yeah, that was once. That was the first time we've seen that, yeah. No, I think it was like the second it's time. The she second. did, oh, yeah, she did okay. it a long time ago, but it's just, just saying that we haven't heard her do that in a long time. Right. We forgot Forgotten. about it. Mm -hmm. We totally forgot that that's what canary does. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. So I don't know. I just thought that was interesting that they decided to throw that in here. They were like, wait, wait, wait. So, she's the canary. What can she do? Oh, she's got that thing. Let's do that. Right, right. They should so, call her the nightingale. The nightingale. I don't know. But he, they, you know what, though? They, they tied in the canary very well. Back a few episodes ago. Yeah. A few, few, few episodes ago. We saw when Sarah was floating on that piece of wreckage from the actual sip, oh, ship yeah, that's sinking. Right. Mm -hmm. A little canary flew by. And right. that is how she got her name. Yeah. I don't know if once she got inducted into the whole League of Assassins, you get to pick something or how that was bestowed upon her. I think they say that you pick a name. I think she said once that you pick a name and that the canary was a, a gift her father gave her when she was little or something. And then when she's on the wreckage, it was that same episode. Uh -huh. And then the canary lands or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And she goes, nice. oh, that's right. When I become Very an assassin, good. I'm going to. I'm going to remember that. that. I'm going to name yeah. myself Canary. All of us are helping each other to piece back together previous episodes of Arrow tonight, yeah. which yeah. makes me realize this is the this is why having three hosts is great. This is <laughs> like this is why <laughs> where I fall, you pick me up is never as good as three. <laughs> it's going to be great next week when we have all four. I know. Yeah. I know. So but also since we're taking a trip back in time, let's just talk about the island. I want to lump that one all together. We okay. get to see the lances. Mm -hmm. Finally, a different aspect of a flashback we're not on the yeah. island per se but we get to see who they were before everything went down and i loved seeing it's always cool to me to see how they make the characters look younger yeah they mean look younger i, I thought they looked same yeah. thing i thought they looked way hotter when they were younger no no no. i'm saying it's interesting to see how they make them look younger for that flashback because oh, yeah. obviously they didn't tape that 10 years ago you don't know that ago. they looked a lot younger six years ago sorry they look super attractive <laughs> when they're younger either way well well they you see those converses that uh, laura lance is wearing <laughs> that was taught yeah. So anyway, uh, like they, I was saying, they they um Officer Lance uh, had black hair. Like yeah, they, they dyed it they or something. Dyed his hair. I, you know, and it's funny because that before that flashback even occurred, I was looking at him and going, you know, I bet you that he was real hot when he was younger. <laughs> Not that he's not I was attractive say, he's now. He's, he's, not hot he's now. still an attractive gentleman, but just looking at his features and stuff like that, I'm like, ooh, you were a lady killer. I and can then, tell. And the then sun? we see him with the the, the the fresh dew and the dark hair, and you're like, oh, okay, I see you. <laughs> yeah, I see you. On a, definitely uh, an important point to me about this episode. You know, normally in the Arrow episodes, we see flashbacks of, uh, you know, Arrow, or excuse me, Oliver Queen on the island. Mm -hmm. But to see that we're doing flashbacks of other people in the show now and we're being able to have more of their history and mm -hmm. what they've gone through pulled mm -hmm. into the show. You know, I don't think we've taken enough into consideration about how much Laura Lance has been through in the last four episodes. She's yeah. been drugged. She's been kidnapped. You know, the doll yeah. maker. She was yeah. She's fired. literally been fired. She's been accused of doing drugs. She's been to jail. She's, she's been almost... doing the drugs that she's been accused well, of doing. Again, the drugs had not significantly impaired her judgment. That was something that was thought up by blood. Like, she literally isn't on drugs to the point of it being as bad as what it seems like she, right now. Yeah, but we've you can't, seen for her. What she's she's hitting the bottle. She well, is hitting the bottle. You don't Regardless, mix pills I won't foods. agree that we could hit her that hard. She's hitting the bottle. I hit the bottle every now and then. I vomited. <laughs> like several, Literally, when I was, the first thing I learned about drinking is vomiting it so you can drink some more like she's not nearly as bad off as some of my friends that snore perk 30s i'm telling you this it's yeah. ridiculous <laughs> but more importantly i'll say it like this it was nice to see her in this episode being able to uh, establish the ability to have the right to feel the way she felt mm -hmm. yeah. and for us to beat up on her it would be tough because over the last five episodes she's been through so much seeing right. those flashbacks was awesome right especially seeing the kind of pain that her family went through without her sister being there right and at, at first i thought wow this is such shitty writing to like automatically make these two get in a fight or something like that and when she's just back from being gone but then you realize that 
Well, it she gives you the list. Sense. Yeah, she gives you yeah. the list yeah. of all the things that have gone down the toilet since her sister's involvement. Yeah, exactly. But you know what, though? Seeing them young again, too, she had a very different aura to her because obviously she's been very troubled as of late. But when we see the flashback, we get to see the young, vibrant version of her who was carefree. She was happy. She was in love. Just completely smitten by Oliver, looking for a place to live with him. And then you see her sister texting Oliver on the couch with her sitting right there. Right, exactly. I mean, come on, lady. Like, what kind of sister? I know love is strong, but can you find another dude, please? Not your sister's boyfriend? I'm so glad I don't have sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm have just sisters. saying, you know, and... <laughs> I love them. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and all in all, karma sucks because now that's how you ended up in the boat that shipwrecked. Right. That made you an assassin. Well, yeah, exactly. karma is exactly. a major point that we have to take away from that. Yeah. 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 Karma. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, karma, what do you think is going to happen to Miss Moira Queen, who's obviously been deceiving everybody, especially an her own children? Another great piece of this episode, building off Huge. of a foundation that's been building since season one, mm -hmm. something that we have not addressed, and we've allowed it to just run away for so long. Mm -hmm. I love the fact this episode is starting to check and give a lot of reality and put a lot of the episodes that we've seen previously uh, have, have developed more base and give them more foundation. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say, in essence, is that watching the way that Oliver talked to his mom made me feel so good. Because the reality of the situation is, although we want to believe Myra Queen was just a victim of, you know, obviously a bigger conspiracy that she had to play a no, part of. No, She has developed in herself an inability to tell the truth. Right. To solve her problems. Which. It, it's, she thinks the best solution for everything is to cover it up with lies. Right. Amen. And for him to just bring that out. Right. Oliver's been building up to that for quite a few episodes and struggling with the ability to believe. And, you know, a big problem with Oliver in the, this season is a lot of people have been having to step up where he's falling short. You know, with mm -hmm. the idea of him not being able to finish a fight or the mm -hmm. idea with Roy, obviously, and being able to uh, not put himself and position himself in bad spots. And that's happening. And now mm -hmm. you see Oliver this episode stepped up and helped out uh, Sarah. He saved her life. He fought Nissa El Ghul like it, it was a joke, taking her down to the ground and was choking her out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a girl or not. You, if she throws a punch, it's, yeah. going, it's going yeah. down. Look, you know? All that fights like that, yeah. she deserves. And now he's taking on his mom. He is literally the hero and becoming the hero we need him to be to save Starling City, personally. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. But you know, I will say that I was very disappointed in Moira this entire episode yeah. because I really wanted to like her because Me too. I was hating on her season one season two she came back she looked so humbled from mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. her experience in prison yeah. and I thought that she had found herself again and then this episode she went in from Felicity on you know what I mean wow. like that's where we saw the real conniving Moira come right. out because Felicity didn't come at her like she was going to threaten her. She just basically spit out the information. I figured out. I put point A and point B and point C together. I made a line and I figured it out. I know who Thea's dad is. Yeah. And it's called mm -hmm. a jury juke. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she did yeah. a jury juke. Yeah. 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 We but, all loved her. Yeah. Yeah. That's what a jury does. Uh, yeah. And she juked us. <laughs> you know, but and one of the things that she had said to Felicity, it was something about being careful because even well, first of all, she's being manipulating, telling oh, her, yeah. you know, if you mm -hmm. tell Oliver, I see how you look at him. He's he's going to hate you. Yeah. B.S. First of all. Second of all, then she tells her. And if not that, you better be worried because of me, mm -hmm. exactly. which I still think is going to be a threat in the future, to be honest with you. I think yeah. it was really, really terrifying that we had to see Moira, who who we 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 wanted to believe and we, we felt bad for her with the whole Merlin thing. And now we see that she's. She was probably behind most of it. She was, I believe, really uh, equal to Merlin and was not at all. Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. She takes a lot of responsibility. And that's what I've been saying to everybody. This yeah. is a terrible idea for her to be running. She did participate in killing 500 people in a city and almost blowing it up. Yeah, her right. whole you know? speech about how I'm taking back, we got to take back the She's city. She's still a good looking take woman, though. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. She really holds <laughs> herself together. She does. And again, her new her haircut in season two looks amazing. Continue. <laughs> I swear if I didn't know any better, I would think other things of you. But anyways, go ahead. That <laughs> uh, she says in her in her campaign speech that we should take back the city. Well, you are the person that they need to take the city back from. Right. Who are but you? do you think that she does have pure intentions and that she is going to turn the city around and make it a great place? Or do you think that she's got some sort of well, conspiracy behind her? I don't think mm. she has a conspiracy behind her um, because it wasn't her initial idea to run. Yeah. 
Um, they told her you should do this, and she said, "Hey, that's a good idea." Um, she's great at being a pawn, though. Oh yeah, you know, she's very good at being a pawn. Mm. I think it's uh, it's not going to end well. There's no way it's oh, going to no. end well um, if she wins. And I don't, I don't, I just don't believe anyone voting for her. That could be a different challenge. She that she'd have to spin herself in a manner to make herself really amazing. Right. And what stinks about the whole debut of her campaign is. We see the scene where Felicity has been upset for a while and Oliver's mm-hmm. like, look, I know you. Right. Tell me. And I thought for a moment, you know, she started to give a little bit of a reveal about her past, right. which we need. Yeah. Um, it wasn't as deep as I was hoping it would be. And we left it at the cutoff to where I don't... When I was watching it, I'm like, I don't know if she told him. I don't right. know if she's thinking, I know something, but I can't tell you till later. Obviously, she told. Right, but it but, would have been responsible of her yeah. not to tell. Well, yeah, but don't you guys think that was terrible timing because then he's got to sit there on stage looking dumbfounded you you know and it's he's struggling to say whatever he wants to say and i thought for a second he was going to say something really bad right and then he pulled it together and just announced her but regardless it was not a very heartfelt Mm, introduction right how amazing my mom is yeah and you know i I think a big thing that we're missing here is that moira crean is not a, a bad person I think that's wrong to label her as a bad person. She does yeah. love her children. She loves her family. And I think we can all uniquely understand that all of the best liars and even the worst liars usually build lies out of wanting to protect and because they care about people. Their intentions are normally good. Like if my mm-hmm. friend asks me, hey, Mike, do you want to go to a movie tonight? I say yes. He says, all right, I'm on my way right now. You got to be there in 15 minutes. Will you make it? I'll say yes, even if I'm lying. <laughs> what? Do you understand my con- conceptually understand what, what I'm saying. trying to say here? all lies are built out of the ability to want to try to help out a friend or like try to like help people out or protect people from knowing the truth. I think it's naive to believe that all lies are built out of protecting I'd say people. a majority. Absolutely. Yeah, mm, that's not naive. <laughs> okay. So if you guys are friends with him, I'm sorry. Right. Um, <laughs> see, see that? That was truth. And now you hurt me. You could have lied and this whole show you know, would be better right you now. You know, but that's, that's the thing is, is I like to keep it real. So I know. And I lied because you didn't hurt me. So there's a lot of stuff you know going what? on this right now. Why, this is why. But you know, like going back into, because you lightly touched about how much you did not like the scene of the the motorcycle and the chase with the canary this that and whatever yeah. right yeah, There's a lot of, there were a lot of issues with that scene, that scene but you sucked. Know what? i'm gonna have to argue with both of you guys All the right. one thing mm-hmm. i appreciated about that scene uh-huh. even though her lover is shooting arrows at her the and she comes force field flying off bike. of the van <laughs> yeah but the scream that she let out when she realized oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, was yeah, in good the back acting, of yeah. the car phenomenal that was yeah. great i love that scene that scene and uh, uh jumping back into the very end right. sorry but where um the mother what is her i i blanked on her name because i want to call her by her real name but her mom alex was, it's Al, no that's alex, that's a real, real name, name. Sorry. dinah there dinah, we go that's right wow, really did I forget that? so dinah when she sees laurel for the first time and realizes that her baby is alive sarah. that yeah. scene sarah broke she sees sarah. my heart yeah because she's just like oh, my baby and, da, da, and then she's ripped away from her daughter right. Knowing something bad's about to happen, that for me the acting was phenomenal in that yeah. scene. I loved that scene. Yeah, personally, I, tears, I thought that Laurel's acting was phenomenal as well. Yeah, no, it definitely, really was. Definitely. Especially the way she acted when she was she took down that glass of wine like it was nothing when she was talking to her sister. Yeah, and the yeah. way that she was so frank with her. You know, in families, you disregard that wall that you have with friends where you're afraid to hurt them. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Some of the meanest stuff you've ever said is probably to a family member. You know of course. I mean? Yeah. You yeah. Take for, well, here's the thing. You take for granted that they're your family and they yeah. have to uh, forgive this, you because yeah. you're yeah. attached by blood for life. So you oh, just yeah. say whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that being said, the way she treated her, I honestly felt like there was, I felt like there was a little bit of a weird barrier between them when they were children hanging out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. When they were like younger. But when she was hitting her with that scene, that was pure acting. That oh, was yeah. But great. you know what? I yeah. feel like, ah, but acting is acting without acting. But yeah. anyways, <laughs> well, uh, that's I, I another just, subject. Pure but, acting. I don't and, uh, but anyways, <laughs> um, no, but what I will say is it sounded like to me a lot of pent up anger. Because if you think about it, uh-huh. what a confusing place yeah. to be in. Obviously, when she found out that Sarah was aboard the ship with Oliver, you realize that your little sister was with your dude, first of all. Right. So you want to hate her because she betrayed you. And at the same time, 
you're supposed to be sad because she's your sister and, and you love poss- her. Possibly dead. Right. But then at the same time, too, your family starts to ignore you with the death of your sister because they're so busy mourning her that you're no longer relevant. Mm-hmm. So it's such a huge mixture of emotions. So to come face to face with the person that's caused all those emotions, it's like she just picked up a huge rock and threw it at her. Like, this is how I feel. And I've been wanting to tell you this forever. Well, remember back when uh, when Dina, uh, Dinah first appeared and was looking for Sarah? Yes, said, yes. I found her. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and Laurel was was uh, kind of excited mm-hmm. at the idea, but also was aware that her sister is dead and that it's not happening. Right. And right. I just wonder if if Sarah had come back then, what it would have been like for her. Would she still be this angry because all the different things that had happened in the recent you know time right, um, right. hadn't had occurred? I think she still would have. I mean, yes, she did bring up the point that mom got kidnapped, I got poisoned, and it's right. your fault. Yeah, those are things to be angry about. But prior to, you still have the factor of you stole my man. You know what I mean? Like you were living a lie in in right in front of me. That's huge. Family, you don't do that to family. People do do that. But, you know, like that's I think she still would have been angry with her, although she was quite happy when she thought she saw. They were kids in college, though. You know what I mean? 22 years old. I mean, ah, there's no way to justify that. And honestly, I don't think the writers or anyone in the TV show wants us to justify it. It's wrong. It's bad. But this girl's been missing and she basically lost her entire life based on one bad decision. So karma has played its role. Mm -hmm. It's played its part. And I think I really respect the way that it was handled by Laurel. But at the same time, it's got to, these two sisters have to come together. It has to happen, right? right? Which is what we're setting up for. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's going to happen, to be honest with you. Well, she's sleeping with Oliver again. Thank so. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So maybe, Although maybe that not. scene yeah. was pretty amazing. I knew, though. I wrote you know it in what? my notes. I think, this... you're an anti, I think you're an anti-girl kissing in mo- TV shows no, person. No, no, no. Because no. that scene was awesome when the two girls were kissing. <laughs> As well yeah. as the scene with yeah, Oliver. Yeah, no, that one, that one is a, it was good. It caught me off guard. This one was yeah. a, I knew it was going to happen because as soon as the music oh, kicked okay, in, yeah, yeah. which by the way, I don't know what song that was, but it was a great song, set right. the mood right, and you just knew. And I think the difference with the girl scene kissing is that they're face to face, they're about, mm-hmm. you think they're going to fight, and then they just kiss. Right. Hot, but not romantic. Is, when, as, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I disagree about yeah. that, but okay. Okay. And then <laughs> when. And you can rebuttal with me in just a second. <laughs> but then with her and Oliver, it was standing. You got to see the profile of them, him with his shirt off and her just there staring. You knew right. it was building up. It was building up. And then bam. And not just bam, but let me start ripping your clothes off. And it's like seeing years of separation. They obviously still had feelings for each other. All lash out Yeah. in one scene. I mean, I, I think I for me personally, I've seen a lot of episodes of Arrow where it's just Oliver hooking up with girls or girls hooking up with Oliver, however you want to say it. Mm-hmm. And it just continuously is happening. So it makes me feel really good to see two girls hooking up because I know that for you guys or for a lot of girls out there, maybe you're like, oh, yeah, Oliver has shirt off every episode. But ha ha. <laughs> Take it. Can we take it? Can we please relax. note that that we had Sarah in just a sports bra doing the uh, the yes. jumpy thing? Thank you. That and yes. those abs on her. But what an amazing body Good she set has. Abs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I just was in awe when I saw her doing the pulley up thing. Yeah. Because we've seen Oliver do it so many times. So to see a girl do it, yeah. oh, way yeah. to represent. It was great. Amen. I'm okay if with they that. could have both been doing that and then made out. At the out, same time? Yeah. <laughs> that wow. would have been a stinky wow. kiss. That would have even what? been cute. She, after she got off that thing, she put her shirt on all sweaty and was like, all right, I'm out. You guys don't Bye. realize, but that's what we're setting up for. Like, is that all doing her, together? Ollie and her hooking up like this is going to lead to more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're going to be doing like jumping jacks and sit ups and making out at the same time. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. That's where this Great. is going. Dude, but did February you guys, 26th. Wait, hold on. <laughs> did you guys catch when going back to the scene where she had taken the snake poison and all that? Yeah. There's two things that were very notable to me. A, when she collapsed. I know that I should not have found any humor in that scene whatsoever, but it was <sighs> the most terrible collapse I've ever seen in my life. Um I don't know if you guys noticed that one or not. I noticed the second collapse. Oh, maybe it was the second one. It was like she like (laughs) fell over almost like a puppet. Yeah, it was hilarious. Uh, (laughs) Anyway, and the other one was, I missed it. And maybe you can fill in the blanks for me. When Oliver is holding her, telling her, uh, what did he say to her? I mean, it was so simple. I don't, basically just not to let go or or to stay with me, whatever he was saying. Out of nowhere, she just went, (gasps) 
and came back. Yeah. He, what? He what happened? You're, you're right. You missed I it. I agree. You guys both missed was it. I taking oh. notes? What happened? I think so. Uh, he had he brought the um, herbs that he has from the island that save. The- oh no, we didn't miss that. It's just a reaction to wake back. No, up. No, she was missed that? it. No, I missed it. I oh, was my taking bad. notes. He had the herbs that from the island that cure every sort of poison. Yeah, the herbs. Oh. He forced Whatever it in the her mouth and are. then she. <gasps> oh, because all I saw was him holding her face, and then the next thing you know, I hear, <gasps> and she's just awake. Yeah, and I he thought, put him in her wait, mouth. No, he put. Yeah. She literally didn't shoot him or anything. It was a sublingual effect. Like basically, he just put it in her mouth, and then all of a sudden, she was it good to go. Their her magic. Yeah. Was... Well, I will say this: one of the fastest acting ways to administer medication is through sublingual route. Sublingual. The three fastest are sublingual, intravenous, like straight into your blood veins or blood, and then uh, obviously through the lungs, breathing it in. Yeah. But sublingual is faster than lungs. He's yeah, right. which breaks He's me okay. into the snake venom stuff. I don't even know what is going on. Like most snake venom just paralyzes its victim. I'm not really sure what the pit viper is going on, but basically like the fact that uh, there's that, whatever that soldier took couldn't have been snake venom. The fact that he just took it in his mouth, even if he took that entire vial, there's no way it was snake venom. It was something more serious. And it couldn't have been the entire Some vial CDNB because then they something. had it. Yeah, but where did they get it yeah, from? They right. must have gotten. They got it from bit. him. He took a little bit of. Oh, they took a shot of death. Yeah. There's not, I don't uh, even. P.S. Which is ghetto. They stole it from the zoo. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is that? I don't even get it. Wait, the wait, the snake venom is from the zoo. Yeah. No, no, no. Whatever that guy took wasn't from the zoo. No, no I believe. I listen, believe. I want somebody to tweet about this because I really we're want arguing this. Yeah, this. we were arguing about this before the show started. Listen to me, guys. I'm 100 percent sure what that soldier took uh, is definitely not snake venom. Uh, anyone that disagrees, please tweet. And if you agree, tweet. Again, you can find us at M. Ogley. The rest of them is uh, <laughs> the rest of them uh, If you agree <laughs> with my theory, which was that Laurel was administered a small amount of the snake venom. He then took a bigger amount of the snake venom. And then Sarah took whatever was left of the snake venom. So that's why Laurel didn't die because it was very little. He died because he took a lot. And then I guess... Sarah took what was left of it. You guys make um, that was a so, long you guys make explanation. Me look, you guys make me look so good. It's ridiculous. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. 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 Uh, that's my opinion. So we only saw. Do you know lethal injections? They actually like put a <laughs> lethal injection into you, and then it takes moments to die. That guy died instantaneously. This is true. This is true. And there was no way even bring him back. As soon as he hit the ground, they said he's gone. Guys, yeah. <laughs> like, guys, guys, guys. Yeah. It's TV. Oh, uh, come on. You know what? That's a great you, point. Really? Because the whole. The, you don't think we knew that this entire show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Of course it's TV. Calm down. <laughs> what do you guys think is going to happen with Slade? Because we saw Slade and, and Brother Blood briefly. Yeah. Br- Brother Blood trying to threaten Moira, which again was another wonderful scene by Moira showing her true colors because right. mm-hmm. she was at it with her claws out. Right. And, and then we see Brother Blood back with Slade who's saying basically, I'm going to handle it myself. Right. This is just leading to something that huge is going to happen coming up. Do you guys still have feelings or emotions of sympathy and friendship for Slade? That's a tough one because I want to. I do. I really want to, <laughs> but too. maybe it's just because I like Manu Bennett, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know what this serum has done to him. Right. I don't know if mentally it's just twisted him and he's real twacked, or mm-hmm. if he's just vengeful because of everything that happened to his true love, Shadow. I uh, personally don't care for Slade anymore. I'm like, nah, whatever. Uh, but I would like to see him shirtless. You know, I can agree with that. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. I wasn't mad at the punching scene at the very end where Oliver was taking his anger out on that punching bag. I'm like, yeah. you do that. And then he had, there was one scene where, I know Mike's like, okay, I'm looking at my computer now. But anyway, with the yeah. sledgehammer hitting the tire. No, yeah. That was in my notes. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my workout <laughs> regimen. Nice. Yeah. That was um, awesome. But yeah, no, I, I hope if Slade is, is going to be outside of his suit um can we at least be shirtless please can we get oliver's definitely doing like some crossfit type training that tire and hammer looks like something serious yeah Mm, yeah. well we showed a few episodes back on after buzz one of the parkour workouts Mm -hmm. that he was doing which was amazing well he doesn't do parkour though that's he a, does. He's trying to do. No, that wasn't amazing what he was doing. It was amazing <laughs> it what was the like, other guys were know, doing. I, what he was doing was like monkey bars compared to those guys. You know what? I appreciate it. And I'm sure a lot of you ladies did too. But he does because I've read that he 
been training in parkour. Yeah. It may have not been in the video we showed. No, 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 it was. He was doing some in it, but it was nothing special. I mean, if you guys want to meet up with me any Saturday, I do PKLA. You can find me on Meetup. I'll show you guys what real parkour You know what I think like. we should do? I think we should hold Mike accountable and make him take video of yeah. him doing all this, and we'll show sure. it on After Buzz. In fact, sure. why don't we do that next sure. week? I yeah. have, I sure. have an even better idea. Why don't we get... I'd like this. Stephen ML. I need some I need a camera crew to walk around and follow me. And have have them do it. A lot of good stuff going on. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's make a a, Steve ML would never touch me. Right? We're gonna have a uh, I could backflip off this wall right now. He doesn't know. We're gonna we're gonna make a course. (laughs) You guys tweet at Stephen ML. He needs to come on after buzz. We've been hollering at him. We need to get him in studio and then we'll see. Yeah, Yeah, we'll have a competition. It'll be great. The only yeah. thing he's going to beat me at is an arm wrestling match, and I'll give it to him. <laughs> That's about it. Wah, wah. If there's anything with body weight composition ratio involved, I win automatically. My nickname's Mowgli. I didn't get that for free. I worked at it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we had our cheese line for, yeah. for the evening. Um, but for me, I don't know if you guys have anything else left over that you want to recap on, but if not, I'm ready to move on. to. Shelby process. Turner just tweeted at me that she says, I wouldn't be surprised if Moira is person who hired the Bronze Tiger to steal the Quake machine. No. You know what? That would be a very awesome. <laughs> I'm just teasing that's a Shelby. Great theory. I love your thoughts. That would be great, great. theory. Let me see. Voice. Um, I'm just doing voices of my Twitter followers. Oh, okay. So, can- so just so you know, <laughs> Shelby, that's apparently what you sound like, according to Mike. That's yeah. sad. <laughs> the beautiful Shelby um, Turner. So like I was saying, is there anything else that you guys would like to touch upon before we move on to news and gossip? Uh, I feel well. Let's see. I took uh, where notes. Was, where was Roy this episode? Roy hiatus. was taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Cooling that's his what heels. I to, yeah, maybe getting a massage. Oh I yeah, I'd definitely talk about the Corporal Lance yet again. Has proven to us he's the worst. He's the worst person in law enforcement that's ever touched a gun. Why? He oh. had a gun at Nissa Ogul and he was unable to shoot her. He got knocked. He got the beat fluff up. Out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's you're did. not gonna put your hands on my dog. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is going on, dude? Oh. This guy is terrible. I'm like, oh my God, he got beat up by a girl, one. No no disrespect to women. Mm. <laughs> Let me say something really disrespectful about women and then say no disrespect. Right, right. But Oliver, you know, obviously, thank God Oliver was there to protect him. <laughs> I'm in a totally different situation. <laughs> That's like what happens though. Sometimes you'll get in a fight. Like honestly, like you'll like get a, you know you'll get heated. You think you're the bigger man. All of a sudden you get put down like that. <laughs> like, That's oh, the worst. What a shame. <laughs> you see that guy at the bar. He's like, I'll take you out. Blah blah blah, bro. And then he just gets beat up yeah, real fast. Knocked out in the Everyone's first like, punch. Ooh. And the worst is if you're his girlfriend. You're like, ooh. <laughs> 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 like you stay with them, but you know secretly you got to find a way to break up with them, but it can't be because of the fight directly or you feel like a monster. That's how it usually goes, I'm assuming. <laughs> That's very sure. interesting. Yeah, very it's never happened to me. But. Mm. All right. <laughs> I don't know. You speak like it has. It hasn't. <laughs> anyway, it hasn't. so. I swear. I'm a good fighter. I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to call it. <laughs> yeah. And then Thanks. let's go into some news and gossip, shall we? After Buzz. All right, so we have some pictures that are going to be pulled up pretty soon. But nice. prior to that, um, I do have some quotes from an interview. First of all, one of the producers was saying that stuff will go down with Oliver and Felicity pretty soon. He didn't say how much, so we don't know like what's going to happen. But hopefully there's going to be romantical vibes in the air coming Excellent. up soon. Also, so episode 16 titled Suicide Squad is where Lyra... Could, uh, that is exactly what happens. <laughs> Can you do that noise one more time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, Lyra recruits Diggle. And in my notes, I'm like, what? So epi- this episode will have Deadshot and Diggle flashbacks in Afghanistan. But I'm wondering, is Diggle going to get just mine fluffed into going in with the Suicide Squad? That just, I don't know. I don't know. Does that mean that they were in Afghanistan together? I'm assuming so. <gasps> we don't know who Deadshot was before he was Deadshot. And mind you, he is dead shot beha- because he has an amazing aim. So he could be military trained. We just don't know about but it. But we did also get a little bit of a teaser about the League of Assassins, which is great. And Deadshot was part of the League of Assassins as well. Yes, mm. he was. Mm-hmm. There was actually a few few people that were. Right. Um, episode 14 through 18. The only thing I have is a quote that says, villain, villain, villain. Great big villains, one after another. So Ooh. with there being the Suicide Squad, I don't know if more people are going to be coming in after everything that just happened. But at the same time, Sarah just got released from the Suicide Squad. So I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Um, what else do I have? Oh, Birds of Prey have been confirmed to be making an appearance this season. Nice. And then if we can, I'd like to go into our pictures. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to queue. Why are you doing that? Why are you guys... Oh, is it queued? 
Uh, we have one on one screen. I'm not sure if you guys can see yeah. it on the other screen. While she's queuing it up, I have a couple ones that okay. I can talk about. Sure. Uh, so I will say a couple of the ones that I looked at was that, uh, one, if you guys want to, now you can look at Time of Death. There's a preview to it on, uh, what is it, trailers.com or something like that. Let me look real quick. dun da 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 on sneakpeak.com. Mm. And then also, uh, the Arrow producers open up about, uh, the, the Arrow producers, you can find some stuff they opened out opened up about on EW.com. They talked about the twist and the tease to Suicide Squad. They go over a lot of things. The articles by Sandra Gonzalez, pretty good stuff. And then uh, also, what was one of the big things I was going to say? Oh, yeah, one of the characters on Arrow is going to be on the new remake of 24, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, it was um, Walter. Yeah, that's right. Walter's going to be on it. That's right. And then... Uh, what was I going to say here? What else have we got in gossip here? <laughs> I had some good stuff in here. I don't know where it all went. Uh, what? Um, these what pictures, happened? these pictures, oh, the reaction that just happened crazy? on your face right yeah. now. Um, I, can we see the pictures to our engineer? Yes. We can. And Okay, so if oh, you God. guys can see it, we have this glorious picture that You're I welcome. found. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're welcome. Of Manu Bennett oh. on a white horse wearing just the white course <laughs> uh, anyways i came across this picture and i thought wow yeah yeah, yeah. was there more to it Did you no i to just say? you know there didn't need to be any more <laughs> to it really i mean i don't know i'm not gonna say it i'm just gonna leave it alone say yeah. it i no, want to no, know no. what you're thinking no no i'm no no, no. i'm gonna leave it's a beautiful it. horse it is <laughs> <laughs> wait there's a horse in this picture <laughs> <laughs> great legs uh, can we the move on to the next picture why would we move on okay so this is a picture that I found of backstage, and I thought, or back, excuse me, backstage, it's by the trailer, but I, I love this picture because it's obviously a fan, I'm assuming, and Stephen Amell, she's trying on the green arrow hoodie, and I just thought it was a really great picture. Not I don't as know, I love when one. people, yeah, well, not as great as the first one, but I love seeing him interact with other people. He's, mm -hmm. he's a really cool guy, by the way. And then this was part of something that they were rehearsing for, it's like a special effect. I was just wondering why there's a ship involved because at first I thought maybe he was doing something for Peter Pan or I don't know. And then I actually read the caption for it and it is associated with Arrow. So I'm not sure where the flying ship comes from. It's got to be something to do with the ship that sank, the one that his father and him were on. Yeah, they, they were on a yacht. Yeah, yeah exactly. they didn't have all that. Well, That's like ship. Pirates of the Caribbean yeah, ship. Yeah. That maybe, is not. Maybe uh, after they, they, the ship that they were on, they went on to a different ship. I don't know. Anyways, let's go on to our next picture. So this is really cool. This is actually one of the stunt scenes that they're doing. This is Stephen Amell's stunt double. His name is Simon Burnett. I like doing behind the scenes stuff just because it's really cool to see how the magic happens. Yeah. We can move along to the next picture because I have a few of these. This is him obviously landing. They're doing a test run before the shoot for the evening. And then going on to the next picture. <laughs> this is what Stephen Amell is doing. Nice. Well, his stunt double is zip lining down Man of dangerous heights <laughs> he is reading the paper go ahead nice. expand that brain <laughs> i can take it and then this is manu bennett's wife and lovely children oh there my. should be is he with kate beckinsale that's not kate beckinsale that's not kate beckinsale it's her kate name beckinsale. is her no let her, the record show it's kate beckinsale no, in your mind <laughs> it's it's karen horan if i'm saying this correct and i have another picture of her She's beautiful. we can scoot to the next picture so this is them on the red carpet this is part she of my news beautiful. and gossip and the only reason i brought this up is just because she's obviously gone public with it and outside of that she's doing a positive thing with it but she was actually diagnosed at age 26 with breast cancer fought it off now she's i want to say when 30. you say fought it off fought it, like she went into remission okay cancer gone and then recently last year she was re-diagnosed oh. with cancer again worse than the first time around i want to say she's about 39 ish I could be wrong. Um, but one of the things that she was, she's been speaking about is just being strong for her family. And she also founded a charity called Paddle for Hope, which is That's a paddleboard awesome. uh, fundraiser. And then she's raised, I think, something like $100,000 with another charity as well. So she's very into the cause. And she wants to one day establish a recovery center for women to relax and recuperate after they finish mm. their treatment. I'll definitely make a donation. Yeah. And let that be a lesson to everybody. Not even a lesson, but let that, th let that be a moment for everyone, honestly. Uh, taking a moment to go and check with your doctor and make sure that you're free of breast cancer is important for all of us. It could be very devastating. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, just yearly checkups in general, I think exactly. are very important man mm -hmm. or woman. Um, so moving right along, I think that's all I have for pictures. Am I right? Ah, this is the last one. Yes, I wanted to end on a happy note. I would like to be a part of this sandwich is all I wanted to say. I thought that <laughs> <laughs> Felicity, I'm jealous right now. But uh, the uh, only, yeah. So sick of Felicity. God. She's gorgeous. Leave her alone. Such garbage. You, you leave guys, her alone. Whoa, whoa. You guys suck. 
Hater, <laughs> hater. Well, I would also I'm like not to a hater. I just don't believe a tech girl that works in the industry that's supposed to be so smart and techy is also going to wear tight clothing and nice dresses every day. And the only thing that looks unattractive about her is glasses. Hey. But no one said that anything. Wait, sense. no one said anything about her was unattractive. What? You said, you said the glasses were unattractive? You got something you want to say about glasses? Yeah. Oh, no, start yeah. a fight. The glasses what? are the only things that are unattractive on her. Uh, excuse me, you're sitting next to a female that has glasses on. I didn't on. say, is she her? Is she Felicity? What? Glasses look good on you. What does it matter? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, last picture. I am wrong. There's one more picture. So last week I showed a picture, if I can get it to pull up. Nice. And I asked you guys, tweet at me and tell me who this person is. So we had nice. somebody guess it right. Let's just go ahead and reveal who it is. Ta-da! Wow. This is obviously a younger picture of her, but right. now that you guys can see it, who it is unbelievable so moira looking quite alien-esque uh, i just want to say you huh. think moira is super hot right yeah she's beautiful you know beautiful. she was on ncis for a long time yeah you thought should... she was pretty then too oh good all right so <laughs> with that said we talked a little bit about giving away prizes if and don't you will. say hot you can't say hot about an older woman sorry yes you can no so anyway you gotta have respect <laughs> She's beautiful. Continue. Like I was saying. <laughs> um, so we decided we were going to give some stuff away. So the first person that tweeted at me is at Langley M. Neely. So you get... Da -da 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 -da. This is go. Xbox Live. Thank you, Mike. For those of you who don't know, Xbox Live is the Xbox multiplayer online gaming platform where you can play against other people in a battle royale arena. Best of all, you can use it for Netflix, Hulu Plus, Fox Now is on there, and also the WB has a w the CW button. You can go ahead and download that to your Xbox One or 360, and you can watch Arrow right after it airs. Ooh. I feel like I just got a PSA. Thank you. You're welcome. So Xbox Live's the we shit. Said, we said we were going to give away three of these, so our first one goes to the person who answered our trivia question, and we'll have more trivia questions in the future. Yeah. Um, the other two we just want to give away because they're people that communicate with us a lot on Twitter, so if you want to be a part of it, you want a chance to win, definitely tweet at us, follow us. We'll keep a conversation going, and we pick these at random. So the other yeah. person is someone that has been tweeting at us since day one thank you very much at ryan with allison so we will you know what hit mike up inbox no her. no hit her hit her oh, up hit and up. i'll give it to her because okay. i'm not very good with twitter yet i'm still learning okay how to well use then it. inbox me but you can try i'm at m mowgli m-o-w-g-a-l-i i'll try to see what i can do yes follow <laughs> me at kiss my passport and we can talk and then the last one i feel like i am gonna say this wrong and if i do i am so sorry but it's at D-A-E-N-I-R-S. His name is Raymond, but he DM'd me a really awesome article with some spoilers, so thank you very much. This is my gratitude to you. Inbox me, and we will talk about it. So for the next ones, they have to, to be eligible, they have to follow all four of us on all Twitter. All four correct? of us. So right. let's just give out our Twitter handles again one more time. Sure. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. You guys go ahead. <laughs> they know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> like eight times we've gotten it already, so I'm going to have you go ahead and do uh, My Twitter handle is at Yell Teagle. That's Y-A-E-L-T-Y-G-I-E-L. -E -E one more time, spell that. Y A E L. T-Y-G-I-E-L. I'm okay. sorry about all the letters. Hopefully you guys had paper and pen. Now, I don't have Kelly's on me, but if you look at my followers. Kelly or, with an I-E-079. Oh, thank, thank you. you. See? Thank you. And then, of course, like I said, mine is at Kiss My Passport. So let's talk about it. Till then, why don't we go into some predictions? Sure. Let's do it. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Which one of you two would like to go first? Um, boo, boo, boo. We you have, guys go. I'm have, good. Okay, okay. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the new girl go first. Yeah, there All you right, go. predictions. Um, I think uh, next episode we are going to get a team of vigilantes working, and they're finally gonna have vigilante club. So it's gonna be uh, Canary and Roy and Arrow, and they're gonna do something awesome against Slade. Okay. Hopefully, he will that. be shirtless. I'll take that. This is what I think is going to happen. Obviously, Oliver just hooked up with Laurel. I'm uh, not Laurel. Sarah. Whoa, Sarah, other sister. So she just hung. Uh, they just hooked up. I think that's going to start to develop into something. However, Felicity is going to be in the background, like, oh, okay, here I go again, just being pushed to the side. And if and when I'm going to go with the when there is a hookup between him and her, I think it's going to get to a point where she is going to say something to him and be like, you know, what? I am sick and tired of you pushing me off to the side. Like, I am worth it. As I, I don't know if she'll say that per se, but that's how the conversation is going to go down. Eventually, I think that they will hook up because, gosh, doggy, I want it to happen. Me too. That's that's one of my predictions. I'm going to let you go. Okay. My prediction is that uh, Sarah Lance is going to get drunk at a party with Laurel and they're going to make out. What? They're sisters. So? 
could happen. Ew. Hey, okay. it's, it's just acting. It's not even real. God, you guys suck. It was a funny joke. I'm over. I disagree. Yeah. yeah. I'm quit. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having my back. <laughs> so anyway, Ooh, it's not even real. As not far even as Ra's Ghoul, what do you guys think is going to happen <laughs> with that situation? Do you think he will come back? Because Sarah officially, in the name of Ra's Ghoul, per his daughter, is released. Yeah, I don't. Is that think really going to happen? I don't think she has the power to do that. I think it's going to come back with consequences. I can agree with yeah. that. That's about it. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, no, I, I'm just listening. I don't oh, know what to say. Okay. I'm okay. done. Okay. I quit. Well, My I guess suck. I guess everybody's done with their predictions. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us once again for the Arrow After Show. I'm your host, Ali Kona Bradford. If you have a chance, hop online, check out my website. It's Ali Kona Bradford. You can see my name right now. It's at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yes. Ali Kona Bradford dot wix w i x dot com backslash television host. Hit like. Uh, if you have a chance to check it out, I have a blog also, Yell TV, Y A E L dot TV. Check it out. Cool. And if you guys want to, you can see where I do stand up in uh, LA or elsewhere, Facebook.com slash M Mowgli. And guys, let's not force anybody. You're not forced to no, have to like not. all of no, us. No, 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 no. Even if you guys don't like all of us, we'll still make some picks or we'll still just give it out randomly. You guys, Xbox Live, it's for everybody. So just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. We like you either way. <laughs> yes. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. So thank you very much, and we will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Oh. Buzz you Buzz later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here. And be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.